Free to move employees between shifts. Also, in touch with several important characteristics. Professionalism shows the overall efficiency of your policeman. A figure of around 150 is considered average. Any policeman who falls short of this mark is not entirely reliable. While those whose professionalism is considerably higher than average are a safe bet, even in a pinch. Individuals' level of professionalism may rise and fall over the course of a career. Energy shows how tired your policemen are. The less energy your people have, the less reliable they'll work. And a policeman who's exhausted may fall asleep at the wheel or make a critical error on the job. Your employees lose one point of energy after working each day and restore one point after each day of rest. Employees don't tell you everything. Some additional characteristics are hidden from view. For instance, some cops are lazy and will come up with any reason they can think of to take the day off. Others like to drink too much. You can only guess about which of these things, but you should be able to draw your own conclusions based on the behavior of your employees. So these are the employees we currently have. Was it Koshi, Yancey, Purdy, Subaki, Asano, Mole? Okay, but whatever. So basically, 150 or better is, is above average. So 150 is average. So Purdy, Yancey, and Koshi are the best. And these guys, yeah, pr Price, <laughs> she's about ready to get her pension. She's at the bottom. All right, so now I know. Start the day. Didn't, we have, didn't know we had vice cops with her. <laughs> we got some detectives with us, I guess. Frank Pembleton and them. All right, here we go. Wait a minute. Oh, this is day two. I think I've already screwed up. Okay, uh, I find calls the bread and butter of police work. You'll need to send your officers to the crime scene before the timer expires. A mark on the map shows where the call came from. The farther away the destination is from the police station, the longer will take your officers to travel back and forth. So the longer your people will be tied up, and uh, so so the longer your people will be tied up and unavailable for upcoming work. Okay. LT calls. Hold LT, press the A button. The easiest way to determine how difficult a task might be is to check how many units you're allowed to send on the call. The more units you can send, the more serious the alleged threat. Particularly risky missions give you the option of sending SWAT, but they must be accompanied by at least one officer. Uh, we only we were only sending two officers max on this mission. This one might be easy. Number of slots is not the only thing to consider. Any available information from the location of the crime scene to the presence of weapons and so on. All of this can tell you how seriously each case should be taken. A mission may look simple at first glance until it turns into a brutal meat grinder. On a serious call, or a serious call can come in which turns out to be a false alarm. For instance, hit and run. A married couple ex exited a convenience store and saw a van in the parking lot back over a homeless man who had been digging through a trash can. The driver jumped out to help, but once he saw that he hit a bomb, he got back in the van and quickly drove away. Ugh, jeez. Ah, uh, doesn't sound like a serious case. We can send Asano there by herself. Actually, 120. Uh, let's get someone who's below average. The people who are really... I did this the first time I played this game. The people who are really weak, like Price, need, to, need a buddy to tag along. So maybe we can bring someone like Yancey with her. Uh, Austin's a pretty low professionalism ranking, so we'll have to bring someone better along with her. But for this might be a simple mission. Let's just bring one below, rank, below average character with her. Let's just see how it goes. And we can proceed. So this doesn't look like it might not be a big deal. So I'll just bring one below level agent to the scene. Okay, last picture show. Crime in progress. Theater manager reports that during a showing of Citizen Kane, a drunk man attempted to force his way into the theater carrying a snowboat that with the rose blah, blah blah blah. When he did not entry, violently attacked the cashier. It's currently fighting with the theater security guard. Uh, I don't know if I need two officers for this. Let's bring. Um, let's just let Purdy do it. There's only one dude. She's above average. She should be fine on her own. Tsubaki is almost at the destination. Yeah, here she comes. Okay, she's there. She should be there by now. Report. R-T-A. There we go. When everything goes well, the police capture the criminals and nobody dies. The truth is, this criminal sometimes managed to escape. Just try to avoid any dead cops or civilians. Dead cops are your roster, and dead citizens bother the mayor even more than living ones. Har har. Proceed. He escaped. No one got hurt, and I lost professionalism points. <laughs> guess I should have gotten someone stronger. Guess I should have gotten someone better on this job. <laughs> Thanks, Subaki.
So she's going back to the headquarters. So her uh, gray, sh the gray shadow over her icon is shrinking. Report. Event Purdy caught the offender. Civilians unharmed, officer unharmed. She gains 10 professionalism points. It's the opposite of what Tsubaki just did. Armed robbery. Ugh. Gotta bring two good cops here, I guess. Three teenagers armed with a shotgun robbed a videotape store and made off with their whole collection of adult movies. Criminals fed in the car, but the store manager wrote down the car's license plate that one owner's one Jan and Brandon lives in the suburbs. Okay, so let's bring out someone good. Let's bring a Yancey and Price along for this one. She needs help. She's a level 5. She's a 5 out of... Whatever. Well, I don't know what the maximum is, but again, anything below 150 is pretty bad. Anything below 150 is below average. Why? Well, proceed. So we'll bring a good cop and a bad cop. <laughs> Fight. Uh, let's see. A brother and sister clash with each other over their deceased father's will. According to one of their lawyers, we don't dare separate them and our security guards on duty. Might not be a big deal. Subaki and Asano can go. Yeah, Subaki can uh, make up for her lack of professionalism on the last caper. Okay, so we're spreading them out. It's like Yancey's almost done with that mission, whatever that mission was. Okay, we got another call in the ghetto. Uh, let's see, we got three cops. Ooh, it's going to be a problem. A passerby saw some teenagers attacking an elderly musician. The runway was guitar and money. Let's bring Austin and Purdy around. So we're going to bring two. We're only going to need Austin and Purdy, I hope. Proceed. And hopefully everyone else gets back in time. Tsubaki and Asana are almost at their destination. Direct orders. Okay, we got a problem. When your cops aren't sure how to proceed, they might contact you and ask you to handle the situation. Try to deal with whatever comes up, but don't waste all your time on this stuff. You have plenty of other problems on your plate. The vehicle in question is parked outside the Brown residence. Sounds of moaning and loud laughter can be heard throughout the living room window. Okay, sneak to the house through an open speaker, open window, knock on the door, open up police, turn on the sound lines, and shout. No, we don't want to do that. How about we just knock on the door? Yancey and Price, offender caught. So Price gets some more professionalism by hanging out with the good cop. Not complaining. So we have one cop available and a SWAT team. Report. Yeah, offender escaped. Officers unharmed. Wow, you two, you two suck. Well, no one got hurt at least. Good lord, these people are gonna kill me. Get somebody else killed, maybe. Purdy and Austin are on their way. Okay, uh, messages. Yep, there we go. Fender caught in the ghetto. So that's two thirty and one hundred. So, we're doing all right. Any other missions? End of the day. Press the R stick. So, as we run out of time on this recording, if you think you'll need a couple of extra hands tomorrow, you can order any cop to come in and work overtime. But if they're working flat out, they'll be much more exhausted. Somebody's bound to make a mistake. So, don't overwork people. Typical stuff. Shift B, Shift A, whatever. Yeah, it's the end of the day. I'm not gonna worry about that for now. Look at price over there. Oh, this must this must I forget I think this must be the um This must be the fatigue meter, which I would understand, you know. She's a bit up there in age, right? Is that is that the issue? That very professional and waiting for attention. Is that how this works? So let's stop the recording here.